Your infant doesn't have any teeth yet, just gums. Why do we want to have a cavity-free child? This is something that is a difficult question and everybody has to have their own individual answer. I understand that. Bringing your child to get a filling done at the dentist isn't as much fun as going to the amusement park. And this is where we get to test your parenting skills, actually. We also worry about the child's appearance, aesthetics, mm. aesthetics. alter your taste buds, get an abscess, rot away, dental decay, and we put our little tender infant to sleep with a bottle. Child goes to sleep and they're calm, peaceful, we want to leave them that way. We have to admit this child to a hospital. Don't put your, ch your child to bed at night. We can't have decay. Nobody's going to get to sleep that night. So you might want to rent a couple videos. You might want to have your husband or your wife stay up with you and have a joint. Alex, how many cavities do you have so far? Zero. Thank you. There's a little infant size that will fit in a little infant's mouth. So this is the size I use, actually. Jab, jiggle, roll. Jab jiggle and roll. Jab, jiggle and roll. Jab, jiggled and rolled all the way around. We slide it up and down. Thank you, Michael. That was really great. Now you have a simple, effective program in how to raise a cavity-free child. I wish you well in raising a cavity-free child, and I thank you. Yes. Yes.